this nation and the pride that we share. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce one other person before you get to hear from Pete, and that is Lance Phillips, who is the uh, chairman of the Republican Party in Limestone County. Lance. Colonel, thanks for the introduction. Um, I invited Pete Sessions to take a look at running in Congress District 17. Um, I was very much uh, in favor of Bill. Uh, and I uh, was disappointed that he felt the need to step down. He did a fabulous job for us while he was congressman and still is. Um, but I wanted to continue to hold this seat and bring a strong candidate in. And Congressman Sessions had a lot of this district in his old 5th district before he got redistricted away from us. And his, he grew up here in Waco. He's got friends and family. He has a, a stepson that's going to Baylor right now. And this is not uh, foreign territory for him by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he built all of our county parties up. He works up and down the, the ticket. And um, when I was director of the Brazos River Authority, um, I could not get much help out of the prior congressman, uh, Mr. Edwards. and we had an issue of, of the Waco water supply being under threat. And I went to Congressman Sessions, and he had a bill on the floor in 24 hours and tens of millions of dollars uh, directed to cleaning up uh, the McGregor weapon charge uh, for us within 48 hours. And that affected not only Lake Waco, but Lake Belton and the entire area's water supply. And Pete stepped up to the ta table and did that for us. He has continued to come back and help us on all kinds of issues, uh, no matter what district he was in. Uh, he's the guy that fired Nancy Pelosi when he was the NRCC chairman. He rides for the brand. He rides Republican all the way. He has always supported every Republican up and down the ticket and will continue to do so. And I wanted him to come back because I felt like he was the most viable and powerful candidate to hold this seat. And it's critical that we hold this seat. He's a full supporter of uh, President Trump and will continue to do so and I'd love to give him the chance to fire Nancy Pelosi one more time. Senator <laughs> <laughs> Carr, Chairman Phillips, thank you very much. What a delight it is to be before you today. The opportunity not only to be in the 17th Congressional District of Texas but really Central Texas uh, a place that is very, very important to the country. We're important to the country because we understand uh, not just Texas values, but really the values of, of what Texas stands for, the freedom and opportunity of things that we have earned and things that we dream about in the future. There's a period of time that our country is going through right now that we're all a part of. And it has tended to shy many people who should be proud of what we stand for away from telling the story to support not only our president, but the way of life that we want and that we need. I will tell you that Congress today finds itself where we have a majority that's based upon the Democrats and Nancy Pelosi whereby they are, instead of leading and instead of doing the things which they criticized us most about, they are failing to do. Right now, before the Congress, they should be doing things that are directly related to jobs. It would be a trades bill, a trades bill that has been completely run through Canada and Mexico, and they have said, yes, they want a brand new trade deal with the United States of America. And jobs in Texas and jobs in the United States are in that balance. Transportation bills to make sure that we move forward. President Trump has laid that out. And the day that President Trump laid it out, Nancy Pelosi decided that she would, didn't want to be a part of that. And so she made war with the president. Congress has the authority and the responsibility of Article I of the Constitution to make sure that they effectively take care of money that is necessary to run the country and also the policy that is necessary. I am a candidate in Texas 17 because I believe that I can not only take those things that are intrinsic in this district, but also the people. 
and help work them as I have for many years, not just in the counties, Freestone, Limestone, Leon, Robertson, Brazos, but also in this county to make sure that we pay attention to people's lives, health care, research and development with the National Institute of Health, cancer, issues that are related to disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, sight issues. I had become the go-to person and was for a number of years, and I will be quite honest with you, it is not just about money, it's about the direction we're going to go. I expect to be involved in this community here in Waco and in the 17th District to do the same thing. I am, as a member of Congress for 22 years, had a high school and college intern program that has allowed thousands of young people to make sure that they understood what, not just what constitutional government was, but to help them to find their footing in what they believed. It was not done on a Republican or Democrat basis. It was done on a basis of please come bring your ideas to make sure that we are constantly leaning forward. And perhaps most of all, I am a conservative Republican. I believe that conservative Republican politics make a difference with the policies that we support and they're alive and well today. All you have to do is go anywhere in Texas and you will see a vibrant economy. Millions of more people working across the country than ever were during the eight years of Barack Obama. The opportunity for not only people to have jobs, but to take care of themselves. We still have issues that need to be resolved. I have worked very diligently and from my past have lived on the border and understand that. I believe that we should secure our border. We must make sure that people who come here do so legally. I am completely for legal immigration. I am for us growing our economy. But we have to make sure that we take care of American citizens and their opportunities. And I think there is a line, and that line is legality. So I am looking forward to not only working with the people in the 17th Congressional District, but making sure that we keep up with people here to where they understand the net, the net of what the Democratic Party stands for versus the things that my party, the Republican Party, stand for. And you will find that the Democratic Party has gone completely left. And there is a reason why the leaders of their party proudly call themselves socialists. There is a reason why Medicare for All outlaws all other employer-provided health care and anyone providing health care in the country. There is a reason why Nancy Pelosi's drug plan that she has just announced requires that the government negotiate with anyone that provides drugs to a government, any government entity. And if that entity does not take the offer that is given them, they would be taxed at up to 95% of what they sell. Ladies and gentlemen, that is neither a free market nor an idea that would be good for us. And that is simple because pharmaceutical companies will get pr quit producing what we need next. I believe our party and our ideas match up against what the Democrats are going to sell this election. I expect to be vigorous. I expect to go and work in every single county and move our Republican Party and the people in this district forward. I want to thank you for taking time to be here today. For those of you that want to get in touch with me, it's very simple. 2020-2020 at PeteSessions.com. And 2020 at PeteSessions.com will give you an opportunity to send me your information and to talk with me so that we may move this congressional district forward. Because I believe that we are at a time where if you're going to come and be on the ballot, you need to do so with vigor and responsibility and stand up for the things that continue to make America great again. Thank you and God bless you.